Have you ever wanted to have the perfect card control like some of your favorite creators, freestylers, pro players, and all in between? Well, for those who don't know, I have 2 to 3k hours put into freestyling, so I wanted to learn as well. Which is exactly why I put together some of the best training packs, drills, and routines for you guys, and hopefully after a few weeks of training them, you will have better card control than your friend Timothy who goes for triple flip resets all day. Oh my god. Now I know this is kind of stupid, but in the last video, I got a comment basically saying, why do you have a PlayStation overlay when you're using an Xbox controller? And I just kind of replied like, how are you going to tell me what controller I use? But for those who haven't picked up already, yes, I use a PS5 controller and a PlayStation 4 controller, depending on the day. Um, today I use the PlayStation 4 because uh, this one was kind of feeling a little bit buff on me. So it really just depends on the day, but I definitely recommend, you know, a PS5 controller over the PlayStation if you guys were ever considering it. Let's get back to the video. Now I know some of you guys wanted my camera settings and just settings in general. So I didn't want to have you guys waiting anymore. So the moment you've all been waiting for here are all my camera settings, my controls, my keybinds and all that. You can pause the video and copy as I go along here. All my sensitivities, my dead zones, my vibration is off, all this type of stuff. These are all my keybinds. Again, you can pause the video and copy as you please. I know it shows Xbox controls, but that's because I'm playing on Steam and I have a configuration turned on. That way I can use like square dead zone and stuff like that. So I know you guys might be thinking like, oh, he uses Xbox controller. No, I, as I just showed you guys, I definitely do use PlayStation controllers. I've never actually had any Xbox controllers in my life. And yes, unfortunately I am still sick, but I feel like I'm slowly getting better. So please pray for me in the comments or something, leave a like and hopefully I'll get better. Without further ado, let's get right into the first section. The first section we got is is drills now for drills there's so many things that you can do and just so much opportunity for just practicing car control in general but this is what i used to do back when i was trying to get better at it myself so immediately off jump here what i want you guys to do is to just go into training doesn't matter what map you pick find the ball and kind of just drive within this circle so you can kind of feel your joystick and how much you need to turn to get around the circle next what you want to do is just kind of jump up and try to fly around the ball the best you can use your arrow try your best to make micro adjustments and to just fly around the ball in as good of a circle as you can the circle doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but as long as you're flying around the ball and making those micro adjustments with your arrow with your joystick and turning in general then you'll be all good now if you find yourself losing control of your car and stuff like that it's okay just pick it back up again and maybe try to time yourself See if you can get better and better time every single attempt that you take at this. And as you feel like you're getting better at the pack, what I want you guys to do is to start kind of spinning around with your arrow. And what I mean by that is not your regular like arrow with your car and stuff like that, not your free arrow. But what I actually mean is your directional arrow. As you saw at the beginning of this video, I had arrow right binded. And that's just my square button. As you see down by the controller, it makes me arrow to the right. But what you can do with this is actually, let's say you do a tornado spin. And what that is, is you hold your, you hold down your directional arrow left or right depending on which one you're used to and you hold your joystick to the opposite direction of where you're arrowing so i have arrow right binded so what i want to do is hold my joystick to the left of my controller and it creates this tornado spin almost the same thing happens if you hold your joystick to the same direction that your arrow direction is binded and it creates this reverse tornado spin makes you do like a, a wider turn and that's honestly all you need to know for for car control as you notice throughout the video when i start spinning around you'll see me just move my joystick in random positions but they're not actually random positions obviously they're the little adjustments i make to turn my car exactly where i want it to be and this honestly just comes with practice and the drills that i'm giving you guys right now which gives you plenty of room to practice these kinds of micro adjustments with your directional arrow so as i mentioned before as you're spinning around the ball getting comfortable with your arrow Feel like you're getting better start incorporating that directional arrow now at first you might start to lose it pretty quickly you might start to like find yourself flying at the ball incorrectly which is completely okay but as long as you're learning and constantly practicing with that directional arrow you can make the small micro adjustments needed to get around the ball like so now quick little trick that i like to give you guys it sounds pretty stupid on paper but trust me this is actually how it works pretty much if you're in the air and you're holding your directional arrow, you can just spin it. You can just spin your joystick in a circle and it'll keep you straight. Literally just spin your joystick in a circle like so, and it'll keep you straight. It'll keep you, you know, arrowing the direction you want to go. And it's actually pretty funny to just say it, but it actually works just spinning it. It actually works. Now, this is what makes directional arrow so easy to use is the fact that while you're spinning your joystick like so, if you start to put the joystick to the left or right for a longer period of time, you'll actually notice that your car starts to go that direction. So you see that I'm holding my 
my joystick over by the left side, my car is starting to go that direction. And when you hold it to the left side, it starts to do the same thing. You start to go toward the left and you start to find yourself spinning toward the left. So hopefully that helps you out with this drill. You know, I'm constantly keeping my, my joystick on the right side of the little circle area on the controller. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's called, but yeah, it helps me spin around to the right side, make the circle around the ball. The joystick barely hits the left side, only when I feel like it needs to. And like I said, this is just muscle memory. You're training your muscle memory. You're getting better at this as you train it daily. For my players who know how to do air dribbles and maybe ceiling shots, try practicing with your directional arrow, air dribbling, and just spinning under the ball and trying to make good air dribbles like so. I would only use this for my air dribblers and for my people who know how to do the air mechanics pretty well. But for those who are still starting out with the car control for the first time, don't do this. I promise you'll get there. You'll get to that level when you cross that bridge. Now, another drill that I like to do is getting up on the wall and just flying toward the opposite net, flying from net to net, using that same, you know, directional spin, practicing that directional arrow, just going from net to net. Maybe try doing like weird adjustments with your car, mess yourself up and you know try to recover from it try to mess yourself up on purpose like like this and then try to figure out how you can recover it with your car controller muscle memory it's it's pretty frustrating at first i'll be honest but you know once you get used to like messing yourself up and going to the left going to the right dropping down you'll start to notice that as you're picking yourself up as you're getting better at recovering from it you'll start to notice a lot of improvement within the car control alone now for the final drill or drill set that i like to do is actually not in a regular standard map it's actually when you go into your replay maps go back until you find this map called pillars once you load into pillars you'll notice that there's two pillars in the middle of the field so what i like to do is what people call figure eights i like to jump up practice you know no arrows no spinning yet i just like to practice going around the field and just try to make like a figure eight motion and if you feel like this is too hard just spin around the pillars alone just spin around the pillars don't have to cut in the middle yet but as you get better at that you know you can start going in the middle and doing like a figure eight or infinity sign motion it gets pretty hard at first but that's the same for all drills and you know learning everything as a whole and trust me it's not impossible i thought it was impossible my first like week doing this i thought it was impossible i thought like you know as i got over to like this corner right here i would start bumping into the wall and i'll be like no this is not possible but no trust me it is possible and it's definitely worth it going through this you know drill over and over again but of course like all drills that i give you in this video as you start to feel like you know you're getting better at this figure eight motion you're getting better at controlling your car around this map start incorporating spins and make sure you're doing it with that directional arrow as i always say at some point you're gonna have to learn to master your directional arrow because it's crucial for when you're getting into the high ranks and the reason for this is is that it's just simply a better arrow to to use once you've mastered it like the only time you would use directional arrow or your free arrow like this one right here you can see on my controller the the bumper this is my free arrow like that just like that the only time you would actually use that is when you're taking power shots like that and trying to find the corner of your car to take a shot on the net or when you're just making micro adjustments in general just around the field like you're about to land use your free arrow that type of thing but back to the main but back to the main event is just making sure that you're using your directional arrow you're spinning around doing that figure eight motion and as i said before if this feels like it's too hard when you're doing the directional just go around the entire two pillars as a whole and just make it a circle instead of a figure eight motion now the last thing i think this one's the hardest one personally but it's having your car upside down now when you have your car like the like the bottom of your car is facing your camera and facing you that's probably the hardest one to do but if you really wanted to challenge yourself and get really good with this just practice it just practice going around the figure eight motion and making sure that your bottom of your car is constantly facing your screen at all times and just doing the entire drill upside down because you get used to doing the inverted movements so like you can see when i move my joystick to the left my car goes to the right when i move it to the right my car turns to the left and it's just that inverted turning motion same thing when i am moving my joystick up instead of the car pointing downward my car you know starts to point upward or when i put my joystick down instead of the car pointing upward it actually starts to point downward as well so just make sure you're practicing this over and over if you have Bacchus mod or you're on pc or something like that and you have unlimited flips try practicing like flipping to recover type of thing but this one's not as important it's just if you wanted to i don't really find a use in this when it comes to practicing your car control but you can definitely do it if you wanted to nothing wrong with that you guys can can run free with these type of drills you guys can do whatever you want be creative 
I'm just giving you the little baseline and, you know, setting you up for your first time. Again, apologies for me being sick and stuff like that. But on to section two here, we got training packs. Now, there's this training pack that I have, and I will leave it in the description down below. But when you go into your browse in your custom training, enter this code. Again, it'll be in the description. Hit OK, and it's called Out of Map DFH. And you're just going to want to go ahead and hit play. And when you load up here, you'll find yourself next to the field. Just turn on your car cam and start to head toward these buildings. Now, I'll be honest, it takes a couple minutes to actually reach the buildings because of how far away they are. But once you get there, trust me, it is actually so worth it to practice, you know, flying around and just, you know, getting comfortable. I say this training pack is just as efficient and just as useful as the Pillars map. So I wouldn't even bother going into this one if you didn't want to, you know, spend that, that few minutes actually reaching the buildings and stuff like that. But if you feel like it would be worth it for you, definitely give it a try. You could also go around the stadium if you wanted. Like you see these little, these little pockets here and stuff like that. You can practice going around the stadium, you know, going under the, the little top floor stand, flying through the stand, saying hi to all the eggs down there. You might hit a couple barriers, but it's fun. It's not like they're completely preventing you from, you know, going around. You can go around the trophy if you wanted. You can go around the stands, you know, fly through this little... This little opening right here so much you can do with this map and i definitely want to give a good shout out to cobra the creator of this map and it just you have so much creative freedom with this map just go around the stands go around the stadium but you know as i mentioned before if you don't want to go through that the pillars map is just just as efficient for the next training pack i like to use is actually uncomfortable saves believe it or not because uncomfortable saves actually puts you in a position where you have to make you know uncomfortable saves as it states and just practicing getting up to that ball reading it best you can and just making sure that you're you know using your directional arrow as i've been mentioning throughout this video bro and just incorporating it into this training pack and making these uncomfortable saves and just getting better at them this one's a really good one i like because you start backwards so you kind of have to like fly up get used to the double jump and then save the ball this one's pretty easy just knock it to the corner start backwards again just turn around and use that car control to make the saves now the rest of my training packs are actually workshop maps and these are for all my pc players out there so if you're playing on console i'm sorry you can't do this but even for epic players you guys can actually do workshop maps as well if you guys want a tutorial on how to do workshop maps on epic games like you don't have steam but you still want to do workshop maps let me know in the comments down below and i will show you guys how to get workshop maps on on Bakuspan, on epic games so obviously the fan favorite that everyone talks about Yes, it's the rings map, but that's honestly because it is a really good map for learning your car control and getting better at spinning around, making uncomfortable adjustments to your car and just going through the, the rings, you know, landing on the pads and just going through this entire pack as fluently and as smoothly as you can. I haven't played this pack in a while, so I'm a little bit rusty myself, but it does start to get easier. Like I always say, start off with regular turning, no arrow, no nothing like that. You can make micro adjustments if you need with your arrow. But don't do nothing crazy like spinning and stuff like that. As you get better though, you can definitely start incorporating the spins. Again, use directional arrow. That's the only one you want to be using when you're in the air and trying to, you know, spin around and stuff like that. And just practice going through these rings. The yellow ones are like medium size. The blue ones are the biggest size. And the red ones are the tiniest size. And I will show you guys those ones when I get there. And here we are with the little red rings. These are the little ones that you kind of have to like make your car wide or long to get through. And I just, I don't know how I recovered from that, but I did. These ones are pretty hard to go through, but as you practice and get better at the map, and better at car control you'll start to see yourself go through them pretty easily but yeah that'll be it for the rings map onto the next map the next map is probably one of my favorite workshop maps to do and that is called hornet's nest by dmc and it puts you in this situation where you have to kind of dodge the walls go through the opening spaces what i like to do is i kind of try to stay in the air and do them you can't go along the walls but i feel like for car control that's not not the greatest thing to do if you want to learn strictly air control but for ground control yep go along the walls learn that as you complete a level go down to the middle where you can hit the ball and then go on to the next one and like i always say again and again use no arrow just turn with your regular turns and then as you get better of course you can incorporate that little spin motion and get better at them like so so once we hit that we'll go on to the next one boom level two and i like level two because it's strictly you know learning how to how to move your car to get through these tiny 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 little pockets we're spinning around Go through the pocket, boom, hit the ball. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we got it. And make sure you practice this one every day, again, if you're on PC. This one's probably one of my favorites to do, and hopefully you guys will feel the same. Now, on to the last workshop map. Personally, this one's probably the hardest one to do, in my opinion. So give it a shot as you get better at the game. But this one's called Aerial... Bro, I forgot what it was called, but you, you saw it on the screen. I like to start with level two, because level one's pretty easy. Level two, you know, you go through the box, you land on the pad around the things then on the pad again this one's a little bit of an awkward one you go up you go down pick it up 
But I like to go slowly through these. I feel like if you go too fast, it won't work out. Go down, pick it up again. Go high. Bang. Oh, okay. Got a little lucky there. This one, I don't know why this one's the hardest. This one's actually pretty hard. You literally just go in a circle until you hit the diamond. And I actually did that first try. That's crazy. I've never done a first try before. Go over the little thing. Go under. Go under again until you hit the diamond. I just missed the diamond. Okay. Um. Anyways, that'll be it for the training pack section slash workshop maps. I hope you find all of these maps useful. Again, if you're on Epic and you don't know how to get workshop maps like the Steam players, let me know in the comments and I'll try to make a video on that. Now on to the final section, the one everyone's been waiting for, my routines. This is a brief overview of my full routine that I used to do back then when I was learning card control myself. I like to start it in the pillars map, the map where you can do the figure eights, but instead of starting with the figure eights drill, start by doing the little ball one where you go around the ball. <clears throat> no arrow. Do that for like maybe 5-10 minutes. Practice doing those micro adjustments like always. And I, I like to use my free arrow for this one as I'm making micro adjustments around the thing. My little bumper as you can see at the bottom. Then after those 10 minutes are up, I like to start doing the directional arrow and spinning around the ball in a circle. Do this for about 5-10 to 10 minutes as well. Maybe 15 if you feel like you're not getting it right. You know, making sure that, like I said before, as my stick is spending a little bit more time on the right side of my controller than it actually does on the left side causes me to spin to the right and get around the ball like so now after those 15 minutes are up you can start doing the figure eight slash circle drill around the pillars themselves i like to do no arrow for like maybe five ten minutes just going around in a circle again as i always say use free arrow to make those micro adjustments as you go around the pillars after those 10 minutes are just about up start adding the spin with the directional arrow and just spin around in a circle like so or maybe if you feel like you're good at that one already you can do the upside down one where you're kind of upside down bottom of your car is facing the screen after those five ten minutes are just about up you can start doing the final step to this part of the routine, and that's the actual figure eight motion. It's going around the pillars over and over again. I like to do this one for about like 15 to 20 minutes, actually, because this one was pretty hard for me back then. But you could spend as much time as you want on any drill. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be specific or the ones that I give you in this video. But I'm just trying to make sure that you spend not too much time on this drill, because I know not many players actually have the time to practice this and train this out. Now, just as we're nearing the end of those 20 minutes, I like to make sure that I'm good. So I like to take the ball up the wall, see if I can get like a, a good air dribble or something like that going, then just try to score it and then to finish off that part of the routine. Next part of the routine is the recoveries drill that I gave you guys before. So pick any standard map that has <clears throat> the goals on both sides and you could also do throwback stadium the one with the the goals where like you can go behind the goals and use them as ramps you can do that too but do the recovery drill where you mess yourself up pick it back up with the with your car control that type of thing practice flipping around messing yourself up picking it up again I accidentally went this way so i'm gonna try to pick it up go that way use the ceiling as well if you need to and just practice all types of drills like that making sure that you're throwing yourself off and then recovering the best you can as you go throughout the drill i like to do this one for like 10 minutes maybe maybe 15 if i find myself struggling to pick myself back up mess up pick it up catch the wall and then go to the next side and now for the final part of this drill i actually didn't mention it at all in this video is i like to go ahead and go down and hit that subscribe button and like button it's up to the best rl creator in the world no i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking but the last part i like to do is i like to just go around my free play map hit the ball however i want maybe do some air dribbles try to do some double taps that was a bad setup but it's all good because we recovered and scored and i like to go around and just do weird stuff like throw myself at the walls spin around catch the walls best i can do wave dashes Try to be fast as possible. Do wall dashes. I can do a tutorial on wall dashes if you wanted as well. Basically anything you guys need help with. Just drop it in the comments down below and I'll try to make videos on it. You know what I mean? I'm here to fully help you guys and I'm here to make content that helps the people. And just try to get better at the game as a whole. Stuff that helped me get better and get to where I'm at now. I had a comment that actually said you should do videos with viewers pretty much. And I started to think like that's actually not a bad idea. So if you guys want to participate in videos in the future. Go ahead and join my discord down below in the description. And eventually... You know, as as I come up with ideas and stuff, you know, I'll start to bring you guys in. And I'll just go ahead and, you know, have fun with you guys. I like to, you know, have fun with my people, have fun with my viewers, just the people who like to support me and want to play with me. You know, I like to I like to do that with you guys. I have no problem at all making videos with you guys and doing challenges, challenge videos, tournament videos, tutorial videos, coaching videos, anything like that. So definitely prepare for that and stay tuned for that. And as I mentioned before, if you guys could please subscribe to the channel. It's so crazy how you guys brought me to like, what am I at? Like 160 something now. And I've only posted like three videos. The first one's about to get 3,000 views and a bunch of likes and comments you guys are honestly the best community i could ask for and to think that i started so early and that i was able to have so much support so quickly it just blows my mind to this day and i'm so appreciative so thankful for all of the support of comments the the nice things you guys say and the suggestions slash tips that you guys give me in my comments below you know i'm open to all of that and i have an open mind so say what you need to say if you want to dm me or something like that join the discord again and just dm me from there i'll talk to you guys and help you guys out with whatever you need i'm going to be posting on tiktok again and going live on kick pretty soon 
so definitely go follow those i'll leave them in the description down below but that'll be it for the car control video if there's anything that you guys need from me in terms of like what you want to learn or what you want to see from me leave it in the comments down below i'm open to all ideas stuff that'll entertain you guys you know what i mean we got to work together here and put out content that would best suit you guys but enough rambling i hope you guys train this routine and train different things that you caught in the video that in interested you and just make sure that you you know follow the routine get better at the at the drills make sure you practice daily because i feel like if you don't practice daily and you just do the routine like once or twice you're not gonna really get good at it so it's it's worth the time it's not too much time out of your day but if you feel like it is just shorten the lengths of the different drills that you do in the routine and just be creative with it i just gave you guys like start points just be creative with it and do what you feel like would help you the best with that being said i wish you guys the best of luck on your journey to learning car control and i really hope this video helped you out again thank you so much for all the support that i've been getting lately and that'll be all for this one peace out